To make a circle in on shape, you first need to be in your sketch mode. So of course you have to go ahead and create a new sketch and be in the edit window so you can actually see the circle tool. Now by default, on shape has the center point circle selected, meaning that the first thing I need to click on is wherever I want the center of the circle to be. So I can snap into the center of my work plane, or if I had another shape, I can actually snap to a point. So for example, I could snap on the corner of this rectangle and draw a circle, or I can actually find the center of this rectangle by making an X between the two points with my line tool. And then I can actually snap to the center of that location using the circle tool if I wanted to. Now to actually go ahead and set the size of your circle, again, I can click once to begin to drag, and I could try to line up the numbers here, or I can click a second time, so I have the edit window, and I can type in a specific measurement. I've also already covered on how to actually grab the dimension tool and set dimensions and sizes after drawing them. If I grab my trim tool, I could very simply delete the lines I use to find the center of my rectangle and I would have a hole in the middle of this rectangle. Now there are additional circle tools as well. If I were to click the little arrow next to the circle icon, I'll see that there's actually a three-point circle. So rather than working from the center, I'm working from the outer edge. I can go ahead and make three different points to draw the circle that I'd like and then dimension it afterwards using the dimension tool. Or there's actually an ellipse tool as well. If you weren't going for a perfect circle, you could actually make an ellipse, and that's kind of a center function like the original circle tool.